Hey, it feels a good day, everybody, after the fantastic comeback against the AHL's best Utica Comets uh, to seal it off uh, with a goal by the captain. We are going to recap the Bridgeport Island, or recap, preview the Bridgeport Islanders and Lehigh Valley Phantoms game as yesterday Hayden Hodgson, the Energizers, and also Garrett Wilson were a big part. I talked about that in my preview, having those Energizer skilled players like Wilson and Hodgson, who also obviously we saw Hodgson have a good shot, so does Garrett and great net front presences of the boat. But also, are the big stand-up for you guys pits off the other team guys. Those guys had to come up big against an Utica Commons team with their play and also just their tenacity. And uh, both of them did that. And Ted Fort Hodgins, of course, scored two goals and then had an assist on the O'Reilly winner. But going on to tonight, I'm um, against the Bridgeport Islanders. I thought last game that they played them, I was actually at that game November 27. John Gillies, the only game he played for the Phantoms. He played solid, only gave two goals. The other two goals were empty netters. But they didn't play with enough uh, pizzazz in that game, extra spunk. Now, the Phantoms were down a couple forwards in that game. But I think if you can come out when you had the comeback effort on, they were playing very aggressive, very physical. Uh, the Phantoms in that third period played, I think, the best period of their season. And if you're able to carry that momentum, I mean, what's better than momentum than beating the best team in the league? And coming back against them at that, uh, the way that the Phantoms did uh, to beat the Utica Comets. So I think they're going to have momentum coming into this game. Now it's about continuing that energy, having the Hodgson's, um, having the Hodgson's, the Garrett Wilson's of the world. I think those guys are going to be huge in this game as well uh, to be able to instill that energy in Spunk. And then Cal O'Reilly, I just expect him to continue to be a great playmaker and, uh, and player in this league. He's been that his entire career in the AHL, and then also Isaac Ratcliffe, who's been impressing of late, um, continued to look good yesterday, of course, getting his goal. I expect him to continue to look good. All the big bodies are taking advantage and playing as they should. They're getting in front of the net. They're doing as they should, I think, systematically. Uh, rather than just being a player development guy, we're starting to see Ian LaPeria figure out how to make adjustments during games and to kind of implement putting these guys in the best spots and not just developing the cream of the crop guys. Um, and now he's really becoming the overall coach, which is nice and fun to see, honestly. Uh, Logan Day, who could end up being a next Wilman, a uh, guy that might end up getting an ELC. The Flyers are short of righty defensemen. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps playing well eventually as the ELC. Um, I would say, though, coming into uh, this game, the biggest key is get off to a hot start. You obviously don't want to have to come back again, albeit it was fun and brilliant to watch on New Year's Day. You don't want to have, or New Year's Eve, you don't want to have to come back on New Year's Day as you did on New Year's Eve. I believe the keys for this game is jam them in the neutral zone. You don't want to let the Islanders be able to get into your zone. And that's what a problem was last game. We played them. Yes, it was only two goals given up by the goaltender, but they did allow them to kind of enter the zone a little bit too much. And if you can kind of jam them on the neutral zone, get yourself going the other way, just as they did in the third period, and really just pounced on the best team in the league, they're going to be able to beat this Bridgeport Islanders team. Because last game, they just left it on the ice, basically. They could have beat them last game, I thought, when they lost 4-1 to because of two empty net goals. The, the Phantoms just couldn't find a way to capitalize and finish. And uh, kind of just left a loss on the ice when I think they could have got a win. This is now about coming out and actually getting the win. Uh, you're at home again against Bridgeport. The fans have been playing great of late to move the record to 8, 11, 4, and 2. So now it's about last time when they were playing Bridgeport, they were not playing great. Now it's about continuing to show that good play and continuing to keep this point streak going and beating those Bridgeport Islanders. It's going to be interesting to see um, Pat Nagel sticking with him yesterday, I think, was the right decision. But he obviously made key saves in the third, faced a lot, faced a bombardment in that game early. I have a feeling you would probably go with Mel Calf in this game, but we'll have to see. But uh, go Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Thanks to everybody that has subscribed. Please continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Let's get the first win of the new year. Phantom, go Phantoms. Peace out, everybody.